previously on Bionicle Commentary Central Podcast. Oh, no. Everything. Welcome to Bionicle Commentary Central Podcast, where we do talk about everything and nothing at the same time, in the same sense, in the same universe. I'm Chris Major, 234, here with the sign Leo. Yes. And our newest podcast member, Vazon Olmac, a.k.a. Toa Vazon, a.k.a. Vez. I thought AKA it was Vazon. What's with Vazon and Vazon? Doesn't really matter. Or is it even Vazon? Anyways, you can call me Vez, Vazon, Vazon, Toa Vazon, Vazon, Olmac, Vazon, that the Olmac, whichever works for you. Vazon and Fenrak? Look, it's like Liwa Lua, tomato, tomato. No, potato, it's not like that. Potato. It's not like that. You are not a true my uncle fan. Revenge and revenge. Maybe we should just get to the podcast. This isn't going to be a dictionary day. That's not. That's yeah, no fun. Uh, yeah. All right. Just set aside the Greg cards for now. Uh, Greg card. The Greg like the quick- card. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Yeah, I should mention that in any case where Kadihi just simply cannot make a voice appearance, like if I get laryngitis or something, Vez is on it. He's he's got this. Totally. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm like I'm your stunt, stunt double. I'm the Kadihi stunt double. See, mean, complete uh, confidence in his ability. Anyways, our podcast topic for today is controversial. No, it's not. Exp- yeah, it is controversial. This is the argument every controversial today. Every every kid has had this with every parent at some point in their lives. We have. Do it or not. We have. We have. You have. I'm pretty sure I've had it with siblings, but not with parents. Okay, with siblings, with parents. The thing is, the argument exists. It does. There's a certain branch of Lego fans, mostly over the age of thirty something. Who think um, that Lego over the years has become less creative? All right, I know there are exceptions to the rule, but just level with me here. When I mean less creative, they complain about a multitude of things. They complain that sets have become over specialized, that everything has to have a story behind it, that everything has to be big, new, and fancy instead of, you know, simple cars and trucks. And we are here today because we think that this argument is just a load of silver. Pieces that are overused. <laughs> I was about ready to make a Karzani joke, but I know people don't appreciate that on air. Anyways, we're it's going to start. It's a load of brown bricks, mushy brown bricks. Perfect. Or, uh, Mystica <laughs> sets. Two thousand eight joints. It's a load of Galador. Let's move oh, on. Move man. on. Move on. Move on. <laughs> Yeah, we can just say that the argument is a load of Galador, and that'll work. That's perfect. Thank you, guys. What would I do without you? you would. Anyways, this argument is a load of Galador, and today we're going to sit down and dismantle this argument piece by piece. Because it's Lego and piece by brick by brick. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, you get the idea. explanation for that pun made it not funny. Arg. Uncultured is fine. There's a joke about explaining jokes. If you have to explain it, it's like a cat. And as soon as you dissect it, it's dead. <laughs> it's not supposed to make sense. Anyways, let's get back to the podcast topic. Um, it would be a good idea to kill the cat before you dissect it. You no, know, just I mean, I mean after your kids back at home. The topic of Lego. Also, dissecting your thing. pets is not nice. Be nice to your pets. Thank you for the disclaimer. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So people, uh, we're going to make this uh, scope for all of Lego. So we're not going to just going to analyze this for just Bionicle. We're going to look at everything, including Hero Factory, unfortunately. But anyways, Mustard. let's go ahead. And I have a list of arguments that people use a lot when they're complaining about Lego. And the number one that I've heard is that pieces are over-specialized. Look, like these a brick days, is a brick is a brick. Yeah, I've heard that argument with from siblings. The only time that works is with Galador. Yeah, yeah, you can't exactly do much with Galador, guys. Yeah, it's, it's just you bleh. can't do anything with Galador. Well, you can take those missiles that they included in a couple sets and use them. Fairly. 
Let's, let's think about this for a second. Because if you pull up any image of like an old 1980s selling Space Guy set, the pieces are pretty basic looking. But then if you jump all the way, pieces. But then let's let's take Nin Ninjago. Push it, push it. 2015. Like um, uh, Lloyd's Jungle Raiders one I think of. There are so many different pieces in that which are completely distant from say the old 1980s selling Space Guys. So that's what a lot of parents complain about. They complain that. You know, every piece in Lego has to be specialized. It has, like, one purpose and one use. What do you guys think of that? Well, if, it's a, if it has Lego stamped on it somewhere, then it can be used with just about anything. The only thing that limits your use for Lego bricks is your imagination. And the people who complain about that are probably the people with lower imaginations. Ouch. <laughs> the ones who have been taken by the maelstrom. No offense to those talking. It's just... If you can't think of anything to do with those pieces, maybe you, you should use your imagination if you have one. If you want to cut that out, go ahead. Disclaimer, we're not going to um we're not going to yell at you for not using bricks the right way. Okay, uh, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna yell at you. Yelling I don't know. I've seen it. I've seen here I've seen um what people call specialized pieces, like what they would use for helmets or kneecap covers or leg armor with the construction models. Yeah, pieces, so, pieces and pieces Like the Ninjago dragon heads, you would think that you could only use those for dragons, but I've seen a uh, mock where people used them for leg coverings. Yeah, you know, Shadow Gear 6335, his uh, recent mocks, they've been using those dragon heads for Pretty good, pretty amazing ways. Yeah, there's an infinite amount of things you can do with every piece. If it's Galdor, you can burn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got someone who's speaking the truth out here. <laughs> Maybe we disagree. We right up. Well, um, I'm gonna try and bring this back to Bionicle for just a second. Because wow. Bionicle has a ton of different specialized pieces, and I've got I've seen people battle to use those in brick built. In fact, a lot of people hate uh, modern Technic because it, it, it it's kind of it doesn't it doesn't look like at first glance that you can connect it to basic bricks. You can. How do you respond to that? There's ways to do it. You've seen those bricks with axle holes and pin holes and all that. Well, I never really cared much for Technic because I can never figure out how to make it work. Yeah, that's one thing you know, a lot of people complain about. I can't use this stuff. You never will use again. Yeah, the majority of my Bionicle collection is a lot of random Technic parts. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? Make an arm out of it. Give him to me. Make a okay. body out of it. I'll trade him with you. I get all your Bionicle 2015 sets. You get all my Technic parts. I'm going to call a no deal. Okay. You buy your own Bonkles. Did you really just call Bonkle? Boinkle. Uh, that's, that, that's what everyone's been doing. Okay, I'm out of here. See ya! No, 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 Get come back! Here. We don't need your kind here. We don't need your kind if you will disgrace Bionicle by giving it that disgraceful nickname. Man, How dare you talk this, about Boinkle that way? This fandom is so OCD about names. I mispronounced Heihu and you guys just flip. <laughs> Go Packer. Go back. Oh my gosh, witch trial. Okay. I'm going to pull Judge Juju here. Shut up, you jerks. <laughs> Ouch. Click, click whistle wheat. Oh, good. We're, we're, we're appealing to a bilingual audience. Don't get me wrong. I'm not calling <laughs> you guys speak jerks. Words. I'm not calling you guys jerks. You're not jerks. I'm not calling you that. I was just Metaphorical saying jerks. that. <laughs> Metaphorical jerks. Metaphor. Metaphor. Blah. I can't speak today. Ah, 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 ah. You know what? Um, something uh, funny I found. I actually found this on uh, Brickset a while back, and I, I confirmed it on Bricklink. Uh, the crazy thing is, between about 1999 to 2003, I believe, was the time where Lego created the most specialized pieces. Do you remember those four juniors trucks, like Jack Stone and all those? Yep. I, ha I have some of those, though. Old trucks. 
they're just still have blocky pieces. Oh yeah, Jack Stone and stuff. That was just. What are you supposed to do with these ginormous minifigure dudes? You can't do anything I with them. I mean, they when I was little, I thought they were pretty cool, but now I look at it I'm like they sit guy down and they take up three studs per leg. I know it's yeah. ridiculous. The crazy thing is, if you look at a lot of those pieces, they have hands. Like, they have fingers and noses. What is this? What is this star string? What is this? If you look at a lot of those pieces, oh, wait. then again, you see those. You know those giant fingers, like what they would use for the Hulk. Those have fingers yeah. too. Yeah. Well, see, I, I can excuse that. They don't have noses. Yeah, I can. We can forgive that one. We can forgive that one because you can stick a minifigure in it and bash them, like what Hulk did to Loki. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, I can forgive the fingers just for that one feature. <laughs> see, if you look at all the, like the Jack Stone sets, because uh, that was like one of the Lego's main lines back in the day. Those pieces it's are like, so back weird. in the day. Like the chassis pieces, the windshields. Like, none of those are used today. There's one piece which shows up literally in one set and is never used again, and it's so bad that you can't use it in anything else. That's what so, the say is nowadays, though. Yeah. Well, see, here's the crazy thing. Uh, that's, when, that's when the amount of specialized pieces peaked. Now, these days, pretty much any piece goes with virtually anything. So, honestly, the critics who complain about today's over-specialized pieces, I think back to 2000... 2002, I think, was the main part. I go, well, you know what? You know what? Look at this. What up? You can build a castle. You can build a spaceship. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship! Not with Jack Stone. You can build a time machine. You can build a time-traveling train from Back to the Future 3. Oh, that'd be fun. I'm sure that'll eventually be a Kusu project. Lego, sorry, ideas. So you think who's to do? Oh I mean, my god, she mispronounced something. The, bio, the BCC witch trials. How do I know she's a witch? How does she pronounce Lewa? She turned me into a she turned me into a toad. You don't look like one. I got better. Ah, the kind, of, the kind of day and age we live in where people mispronounce names. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go to topic number two. Which is, this will be able to connect a little more to Bionicle. People complain that new themes have storylines and that kids feel pressured to follow the storyline. And they're saying that with Bionicle? The new Bionicle? Well, they say that with, they say that with everything. If, if, they even, if it even has a video for it, where someone's narrating or someone's talking, and it looks like even a portion of the story, you get people, you know, standing next to their walkers, raising their fists, going, Ah, there's a story! It's not creative anymore! We're kids! Call Judge Nuju in. I forgot to call Judge Nuju in this one. What do you guys think? The sto- does the story automatically mean, or does it mean in any case, really, that kids can't be creative with a product? Of course not. They can make up their own stories. Yeah, it's just a guide, really, because... Well, let's take an example at the little story Hero Factory had. When I I was, like... uh, um, I was was loving when Hero Factory came out. Um, And so, when, uh, by 2011, I kind of thought, well, this story is terrible, I'll make my own. So, (laughs) that's kind of what I did. When I was young and it was out, but with Bionicle, I um, I basically okay. added to the story itself in my own kind of way. Like, let's see. So the Matoran give them give the Toei Nika these blasters, and they go free the Matoran. Well, how about they also fight this giant Rahi along the way? You know, stuff like hmm. that. Yeah. So, so it does the old again, it all comes down like... to imagination. The story. I mean, because the I think they oh. leave out gaps in the story so that you can make your own. You know? Yeah. Especially but then I also when the think Bionicle movies were so bad. I mean, oh, come on. This this movie is a disgrace. I'm going to make my own thing. <laughs> make my own gap filler. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll make an honest trailer for it. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with you guys there. But what about something like uh, Ninjago or Chima, where the TV show fills in pretty much all the gaps? And where the TV show was terrible for the most part with Chima. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I used to like Chima so much. I thought it was great. And then I look at it, and again, I'm like, puke. Well, you know, the sets were kind of nice, but... The sets are okay. Because with me, me personally, if... I just don't like a theme like uh, I like Castle in Space a lot. If it's not that, and the story doesn't compel me to buy it, then I'm not going to get it. That's why I only have one Chima poly bag. And was that only because it was a uh, free with online purchase and stuff? No, that's because I bought it today because I wanted to get one of the ice bears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get those uh, speed or packs that Lego.com was handing out? Nope. Nope. Should I go into story mode, or are you guys tired of my old man rants? Let's go. To All right, enough of your old man stories. Let's get a real person on the <laughs> show. Yeah, like I me, love this the guy. answer. I have arrived to bring personality. Get it? Go away. Go away. Never. I am here to stay. Leo just had a conversation with himself. That is impressive. <laughs> All right, but I think I have to go into old story, old man story mode now. Back in my day, I mean, I think it was a, it was about a year ago or so. I, I bought the Lego Mindstorms XT uh, from uh -huh. Lego Shop at Home, and uh, you know it's a, it's a fairly big purchase. And when I turned around, I had thirty dollars worth of VIP points. Wow! I was like, neat. How did you amass so much on, wealth? Well, I bought I bought like the most expensive set of Lego.com. <laughs> Well, I never get anything from Lego stores or Lego.com anyway, so VIP points would do nothing for me. Oh, I'm missing out, bro. Man, I'm kidding. But anyways, I go ahead and I, I, set, I buy a set later with those VIP points, like a $30 set, and it was fantastic. And then I got an email from Lego Shop at Home a few days later saying, hey, um, uh, hey you have 30 uh, VIP points to spend. Like, I already spent those. I go to the website, I look at my account, and sure enough, there are $30 worth of VIP points I can still spend. Oh, I see. As so you get VIP points and it's money off your next purchase? Or money yeah. towards your next like, purchase. Yep, and uh, I think in some cases they'll even cover shipping for you. Nice. Speaking of I, was like, I need to set up my VIP account. I just signed up. You should. <laughs> it's crazy because I went ahead and I, ch I, ch I checked everything. I'm like, okay, um, this looks legit. I guess I'll just roll with it, and I bought another Lego set. And about a few weeks later, it says, hey, you have $30 worth of VIP points to spend. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I, I tried to contact Lego Shop at home. They don't reply to me. I'm like, well... Hello, I guess thank you for Lego calling Lego Tech Support. support. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> Lego Tech Support, may I help you? <laughs> I keep yeah. getting three VIP points, and I spend them but they never go away. What's wrong here? <laughs> I don't know what was wrong, but apparently I just kept getting free VIP points, and I just kept spending them because they just kept showing up, and I'm not going to complain. Yeah, and then uh, one day, that. I like, this, ha this happened about two or three more times. And See, I wish this happened when Bionicle was out, because I would just stockpile, man. <laughs> but I digress. We all yeah. Anyways, one one of the, one of the, the purchases patience to get anything off of Lego.com because you have to wait for it to be shipped. <laughs> I'm like, just go out and buy it. Well, not when you have that's a free shipping code. Ship. And like, okay, this is taking too long. Uh, to, make a, to make a long story short, it's happened about two or three more times, and two of those times I opened the box and I realized, there's something in here I didn't order. It was a Chima Speed Wars pack. It's like, what is this? You don't belong here. Which of these things so is not like the other? And Bison dropped out. Uh-oh. He'll be back. He'll be back. And we will be waiting. Be ah, but ah, yes, yeah, ah, so ah, that was ah, my ah. old man rant about Chima. I kept getting those speed or packs because they were just handing them out free. They are like, hey, here's something you like. And there's a flyer saying, uh, meet Lego Chima, speed ors, blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking, that's desperate. That is desperate. Hmm. Needless to say, Lego.com figured out what was wrong. And it's weird the way they went about it. They were all, oh, man, we're so sorry uh, for all this. I'm like, don't be. 
They said, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to reconfigure your account. To make up for all this, we're going to give you $30 worth of VIP points again. Uh, 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 uh. Darn! And then, and then it stopped. Lego is such a nice company. They're so nice. I probably got about 10 or 15 Lego sets at the end of all this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. So if you ever want, if, if I remember the guy who ends up running a scam uh, for Lego, then yeah, you know exactly why. Hmm. But yeah, that was just my story tangenting off of Chima. Okay, Chima. sorry about my uh, sudden disappearance. What did I miss? Everything. Okay. <laughs> what? I missed the entire podcast? What is this? <laughs> Time dilation at its best. Oh, boy. Anyways, well, you're just in time for topic number three. Okay, good. I'll, I just missed your old man story. Well, in, in, in the in the end, uh, Lego found out what was wrong, but uh, they were all, oh, we're so sorry about this. And to make it up to you, we're giving you $30 worth of VIP points. Thank <laughs> you. Anyways, I'm going to have to talk a little quieter now. But, yeah. It was a if you can't hear me. I think you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. So you guys want to discuss topic number three? Why not? All right. Topic number three. People complain, because people are people, that ins instructions these days are too complex. They don't suggest alternative builds. Well, they don't suggest alternative builds. Yeah, I, I consider that. I never really noticed it until I went back through instructions and some old instructions I had. And yeah, they, they gave other models. Like... My one of my first well I count as my first set since I don't really count those big blocky junior precursors really <laughs> since it didn't do much with them. Duplo and juniors, yeah, those aren't really. I, I got the Alpha Team. Uh, was it Flash Speeder with Agent Flex? You got the arms. Oh sleeve. yeah, Alpha Team, that was awesome. Yeah, from 2004, the last year of it, and it suggested models for like this sweet little hang glider thing and other things. Well, that was, because, that was because the point of that thing was to be a two-in-one. No, the point of the... Th no, it wasn't considered a two-in-one at all. Well, you look at the Alpha Team thing, and all those sets had two different no. things you could do. No, they had transformations, which is different from two-in-one models. Okay, that's a good point. But, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure when they quit uh, suggesting alternate builds, but... Well, that was always something nice that I thought thought was neat. Yeah, I think they quit like right around two thousand three. It was like Lego had a huge huge shift and stuff in two thousand three. That's no, when they got rid of their old dark gray color. I believe that's when they uh, slowly stopped doing alternate build ideas. What no, that's when they color? started because Alpha, the Alpha team set I got was from two thousand four, Chris. Oh, two thousand four. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking too far behind. Because I, I know with, like, um, I'm a huge Adventurers fan, and virtually every, every Adventurers set I have suggests something for an alternate build. And often it looks pretty dumb, but it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Well, it sounds nice. like the combiner model instructions that LEGO give, like, for Hero Factory, and, like, what is that supposed to be? I'll make Hero something Factory better. Uh -huh. models? Yeah, the Hero Factory combiner models weren't really anything. It was just look like sticking random pieces together. Now, like, Dr. Scorpion X's combiner models, those are something. See, it's not creative anymore, darn kids. What do you mean it's not creative? <laughs> Just because the company a... doesn't suggest anything doesn't mean you can't make something. Exactly. Thank you. We're bringing logic to the universe again. <laughs> See, I keep hearing these complaints. What's logic? <laughs> logic is the beginning of wisdom. I didn't know. That's what I say. I'm pretty sure that that was supposed to be a quote. Uh, I'm pretty sure that quote uh, is, is different in real life. But other than that, <laughs> one thing I found interesting: I have this uh, old adventurer set that I got off of eBay a while back. It's this uh, tomb. If anything, I'd say that the instructions back then were too complex <laughs> because um, there were so, there were several steps where I had to put on like ten different bricks of varying types in varying places all over the models. They have less steps back then. That's because they try and cram so much into one step. Like these days, with each step, you add one piece, maybe two pieces. 
back then it's like, oh, you're going to build half the model in step one. Yeah. Which, I don't know, this this argument's like, that's ridiculous. In fact, any, if anything, your instructions are too complicated. Oh, uh, talking about building sets, this, this reminded me of something. Um, back when I got my uh, first Toa Metru, this is when I was getting... Vakama, of course, was my first one. Because he was the red guy, and red guy, the red fire guys are cool. <laughs> but I was... Five when I no not five this was yeah five I was five when I got him and I had already gotten Pirate Call and Lay Lay Rock mm-hmm. and I was worried about snapping the joints together because <laughs> they would always go <laughs> when oh, I would yeah. put the set together and so I had my dad connect the joints together so that I wouldn't break them <laughs> it's just a funny story all right what I missed this time. You missed my story about the Toa Metro experience. What was it? You know, I'm sorry, I, I can that, just listen to that part again. All right. Together. Never mind, you can listen to it. Yeah. In the podcast. When These stories on repeat. Yeah, n- next one of us to tell a story will be um, Vez over here. And he'll cut out halfway through the story and then ask what he missed. Uh, your, your, your story? My story? My story begins much the same. What am I giving a story about? No, my beginning was... I don't know. I forget how that line went. Should we move to number four? Sure. Sure. Number number four, I almost agreed with this until I looked at some research. Lego has become more expensive. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of sets nowadays that you could get for 15 bucks would be like... 10 to 5. But the piece count has increased. But it's still a small set. Yes, but well, the there are a lot of sets I've looked at that are actually pretty cheaply built. I mean, it's like the bare minimum just to make it look right. Because there were some Chima sets I saw where you have a guy versus a guy in a vehicle, and that guy didn't even have a weapon. Okay, well, Chima is not a very good example. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. Let me think of a good one. Uh, here, how about uh, two Lego movie sets? Um, the getaway glider, the glider made from the top of half of a saloon, and the melting chamber, or melting room, I forget what. But melting chamber, close enough. Yeah. Those have more pieces than us, and they go for $12, I think. Yeah, something like that. The Getaway Glider is a much better set than the Melting Room, by the way. But, well, those uh, sets actually looked like they would be worth it. Well, worth yeah, but you see, you'd get in the same box size in, back in, like, 2005. Uh, let's see, a uh, set from 2005. Um, I'm trying to think of the Dino Attack set that came with the Raptor. View. Um, well, there's this Dino set Attack set that came with the Raptor, and it went for, like, 10, 10 clams, and I think. And You're saying that, had, that probably has less pieces than that probably had less pieces than the melting room, but the pieces were bigger. If you get what I mean. Um, yeah. yeah. So they have bigger pieces, so it looks about the same size, but there's less to it. Yeah. Uh, the classic space classic space sets are a good example. You know, you have a giant base plate with a detail and crater. Then some more giant pieces and some intricate little pieces inside for a control room. And you have like three minifigs. That's I don't know what the average price was for that, but probably for the same price you'd get something like uh, let's say the soldiers for from the current pirates theme. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, have you seen those old Spider-Man sets? Like uh, from I around have the those time Spider-Man sets. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't oh, yeah. really into Lego much around that time. So yeah, I, well, I didn't have any at the time because my mom didn't like superheroes. I was missing. My mom didn't, well, I didn't have any Legos at all at that time because I was young and infirm. You're supposed to be hey, at least you got and infirm, dark not really. young and infirm. Do you do you grow backwards? Yes. You were born old and you're progressively getting younger until you die a baby. 
Yes. I die of young age. I know the <laughs> reference everyone is thinking about right now. I'm not going to say it to just maintain Sandy. I don't even know what I'm referencing, if I am at all. I, was just, I thought I came up with that on the spot. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about either. Uh, it's, an, it's an old movie from a while back. It's really dumb. Okay. That's what I've heard. Leave it, leave it in the uh, closet you brought it out of. <laughs> Shove it back in the dresser yeah. drawer and kick it oh, well. Put it back in I-Hand Christmas's. Put it back in I-Hand Christmas's dimensional portal closet. <laughs> you have a dimensional closet? Now you're distracting me. <laughs> oh, that I reminds think me of a dream I had last night. <laughs> Leo? No. Or- where the world was getting all, all funky-like, and, like, if you looked up... Chris, you remember the end of Interstellar where they're in the ship and the world is all circular inside the ship? No. Nope. Uh, yeah. The, the Earth looked like that, and I could jump from one end of the Earth to the other and land relatively the same way, and Darth Maul with robotic legs was there, and so was the Doctor. <laughs> Darth Maul with robotic legs... You haven't seen the Are Clone Wars? Okay? Um, actually, I am watching the Clone Wars, and I just finished that recently. Oh. Well, I just finished that story arc recently, and I'm like, epicness. Though him with the spider legs is kind of weird. Hmm. So that's one pet peeve I've had with Lego. At least, at least in Jago, no one actually dies. Yeah, that's a bit of annoying. Well, that goes back to story. Yeah. I was just thinking the get day of G1 Dark, oh, it was so dark that Matoro died. <laughs> yeah, I was actually... Where's my dark, gritty bionicle with death and violence? I'll complain that the old Matoro Victorian version has as many large pieces as the Spider-Man sets do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is the large pieces argument. That is looking back at those sets, they're so chunky and huge, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, they just look a little burns. Here's to life on Mars. Because the chunky. Life on Mars, don't you? Life on Mars, ugh. I don't remember that. Mars mission sets were kind of cool looking, but I was a little... Oh, I love Mars mission. I still was a little a pet piece sets. that oh, the aliens missions. couldn't move their arms. That was a severe... The alien commanders could. Well, only the commanders. 2008. Only the alien commanders. I mean, that the ordinary aliens happening. would be so much cooler if they could actually move their arms. It's odd. The alien commanders use the same arm pieces as they do for their legs. <laughs> it's supposed to be crawling, just going all golem. Is that we all go? <laughs> I knew someone was going to do that. You can keep your nasty gypsies. Bring us fish now. Bring it to its raw and boomerly. Sorry. Someone get Vase on a bit. Stewed rabbit. See, they should have made a set of that. They could call it. They could call it Gollum freaking out. Oh man, there are so many Lord of the Rings sets. I wish they had made. You know, they're supposed to make another wave for this year. There are sets rumored, and we see nothing. We see nothing. Just so. They may come. Know. I don't know. No, they're not coming. But it is not this day! The fortress is taken. It is over. What can men do against such reckless hate? You can uh, have Gandalf on your side. Ride out with me. Or Rohan. Yeah, I found the books are really awesome. Yeah, I'll say stick with the books. With Lord of the Rings, I'll just stick with the books. Ride out with me for Lego and for fandom. Let this be the hour. We draw swords together. But I want to draw a dagger instead of a sword. But it is not this day! That's the wrong speech. That's not from Helm's Deep. I know. I'm, 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 quick, I'm quickly um, fast-forwarding. We can rewind in a second. Hmm. Yeah. Man of the PCC, I bid you stand! Whatever. Should we move to number five? Sure. Mm-hmm. Now for wrath. Now for ruin. And the red dawn. Boom. Now for number five. Uh, all right. Number five. I've heard this complaint so many times because of people. 
being I'm people. guessing that, I'm guessing influence from the hippie movement, but Lego <laughs> has too many weapons. Actually, I find sets without weapons to be rather boring. Sets don't oh, need you need to I know that they don't need weapons, but I mean, like with the Lego City sets and you have the police. I mean, all they have is handcuffs and a walkie-talkie. That's not going to help. Well, that's me. all you need, because their policemen are so macho, they just take people down with ingenuity and fists. And saying, hey, all the time. Pretty stupid. Well, everyone in Lego City says, hey. Yeah, that's all they ever say. That hey has been around since 2005. Hey. I found a video. I just think it would be cool to at least give the police guys a taser. <laughs> These are Lego beasts. <laughs> All they need to do is take their revolver and make it more box and make it more boxiller, and they'd have a taser. There's there's a video on YouTube where some uh, where somebody um went ahead and took every single hay in every commercial since the beginning of Lego like, City and just put it in one video. Oh, wow. <laughs> you'll have to link me to that video. It's like, hey, 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 hey. In fact, hey, put that link hey, in the description hey. to this video. <laughs> if you can find I, it. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to link to the description. Link in the comments. Not the comments, <laughs> but the description. If, if you're the guy who made that video, you are a hero. Sorry, I didn't. Do you know what it takes to be a hero? Please, you know. <laughs> Number five and a half, Lego makes songs. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, but Cryoshell, I don't get why it's such a big hit. They don't even sing good. It's because gravity hurts. I mean, I that was such a slow, boring radiant. song, too. You're slow and boring. Ooh. Vez just got served. You're saying Kanihi's twin is slow and boring? What is this? Don't no, have the podcast. Yeah. We'll have Kadihi stuntman do a scene where he gets hit, where he's standing on a rail car and it goes through a tunnel and he gets hit on the head by the tunnel and dragged through it. And then he he, he fell into a volcano. Ah! Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> See, it's those darn weapons and them darn Lego shits. Never mind that. Look at these cool little cars I got. Oh, well. well you guys want to move to argument number six? Well, speaking of weapons, there are certain themes I think have to have, like, weapons. You know, like, castle theme. You can't have knights without swords and shields and bow and arrow and all well, actually, spears and all that. Lego Juniors? You know that, that new, relatively new Lego Juniors thing? Yes. They actually made a castle set for Lego Juniors where the king didn't even have a sword. He had a crossbow. And the knight didn't even really have a... He had a sword, but no shield, and his horse didn't even have a saddle. I'm like, you're leaving out so much! Yeah, you need to have a saddle. <laughs> and you can't anyway. exactly make a Star Wars set without weapons either. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, Star Wars brought weapons into Lego. We have Star Wars to blame for that. But, um, you know, space, yeah, I kind of kinda wish we'd have a space theme where, you know, they just explore instead of have an alien invasion, because alien invasions, we've had too many of them right now. We had alien conquest and galaxy squad in the, straight right after each other. And that was, an alien conquest came off of Mars mission, which was, guess what? More aliens fighting. I want to see Flash, the, I want to see the uh, a Star Trek of Lego. That would be cool. Yeah. I think back to some old space sets, which is what a lot of people complain about. They're like, why can't we just have sets where they're just exploring? I'm like, well, I'd say that's Boldly like one. go where no man has gone before. Ooh, I'd say like, that's, one, that's one of the faults with Lego. Okay, I'm done. Problem is in uh, Star Trek just became Space Wars. I'm not space gonna say Star Wars. Wars, nothing but Space Wars. I was gonna say Star Wars, but people would get mad at me for trying to combine the two fans into one. 
we'd get so much hate mail, and the next video would be, you know, um, me, me uh, getting drawn and quartered. <laughs> so, you know, better be safe than sorry. Tar and feather him. <laughs> no, thanks. I, I don't like feather. Creaky. I'm highly... <laughs> You're okay, I'm, back on, I'm back on mic now. You missed another old man story. Actually, I was here for that. I just couldn't talk. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say something back when we were talking about prices, but I forgot. So can I say it now? Sure. No. I can't say it. <laughs> Why not? No, you, you can go ahead and say it. I'm, I'm just okay. messing with you. I was just going to say that sometimes I do have a legitimate complaint for that. Because, you know, mini, Lego minifigures, they used to be two bucks, and now they're four. They've doubled, they've literally yeah. doubled the price. So, uh, my sister and I went to the Lego store yesterday, and while I got a pick brick wall, protector of stone, and the hero pack, she got four of the collectible minifigures. And you paid the price. That was 17 clams right there. Oh, man. That, I, I really don't buy the collectible minifigures anymore. Also, there's an arc. I got. Yeah, I. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I got two of those minifigure set things, and that's eight bucks for two minifigures. That's a bit overkill, especially since you notice they're making their studs smaller. Their studs smaller? Yeah, they're less round. They're getting slightly smaller. Because I got the genie girl, and she would not stay on her lamp. Hmm. The stud holes where you would stick the stud in are the exact same size, but the studs are just slightly smaller. My guess has to do with the fact that the minifigures are often made in China. I mean, it's like barely detectable, but every now and again people complain about weird yellow yeah. colors, minifigure cracks, or something. I remember back in the day when Lego parts were made in the Czech Republic, not in China. Old man Leo. <laughs> well, I Did remember you old I read man this. On here. <laughs> this might be wrong, but I think it's the cost to produce a minifigure is like seven bucks. But the cost to produce other bricks is so low so that you can put four minifigures in one set and price it at twelve dollars and have no problem. I just I can't remember where I read this, but minifigures are super expensive to make. Okay. But yeah, there's 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 some, uh, there's something that they can throw in so that they're cheaper in sets, but on their own. That's why Lego was so hesitant to make minifigure and battle packs without bricks, because the uh, the uh, price to piece ratio is just completely messed up. I remember back in the day when battle packs were six dollars. Old man Leo. <laughs> I remember back in the day when my mind. uncle sets would break. What? Break by uncle sets. Oh my gosh. Like your um, little horror story episode. <laughs> Give it a <all> break. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to quickly attack number six? Sure. Yeah, let's attack number six. Uh, this, may, this may be the ravings of a psychopath who says that Lego can't be glued together. Can't be what? Glued together. Lego's not meant to be glued together. Exactly. The ravings of a psychopath, I'm guessing. <laughs> Next one. Oh, that's my list of arguments. Well, actually... Um... <laughs> People say they can't be glued together, and that's good, but I don't get why people would paint their bricks. Custom. Don't get me started. Actually, paint or... I don't get why they would color their Lego bricks, because you want to make them color proportionate to your um, mock. I get that, but if you ever want to use that same brick for the color it is without being painted for something else, you can't. I know. It's also, unless you do it right, which is extremely hard... Like, Lego bricks are accurate down to, I believe it's past a millimeter. I would dare, I would dare say, uh, down to like a nanometer, but that's too much of precision. But adding a layer of is good enough. And only the best is good enough. Except when it was 2008. Or when, when it came to Chima, they said, they said, ah, this will work. 
Yeah. It's a joke. You can laugh. Never mind. <laughs> you figure, um, so pieces, Lego pieces are so precise that adding a layer of paint actually makes them bigger so that it's hard to place them on other pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, I don't get that. Although, you know, things like masks and Kanohi and all that, those are, you can tear them apart. You can paint those on the outside, yeah. Yeah, that's Sand not a problem. Blast them and... Yeah, because yeah. that, that was on the LEGO gallery. Them. The LEGO.com gallery, there was someone who painted all his gold Bionicle 2015 masks. He painted all, all the gold ones? All the gold ones, he painted them with a more gold-looking gold. Oh, wait, I've yeah. seen that, yeah. I so, was so like, you, if you, hey, that's kind of... I don't you get, get them painted. Painted. That's, that's wrong. Yeah. I don't necessarily paint, get painting your actual bricks, but if you're just... You know, painting the outside of your Kenohi or mask, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Or splicing weapons. Splicing weapons? You know, splicing the blades, like cutting them apart, putting them back together in different ways. Nah, can't do that, man. Sorry. Yeah, you can. My conscience cries out. <laughs> yeah, my conscience always cries out at me whenever I do anything. Screaming for mercy. Please don't hurt poor little brick. It did nothing to you. See, like I'm gonna have to oh, paint some masks for the project I'm working on this summer. That uh, Matoran mini series I've been advertising. Although looking at it now, it's less of a mini series and more of a series. But uh, I'm gonna have to paint some masks for that. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to just deal with it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't be doing anything like that because I don't have enough masks. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy some more of a brick link before I dare massacre and part and terrorize. I get the total Lacan set with kicking off. I don't have that problem. I don't really have any masks at all, so... That brick link. I feel better if I uh, customize the Lacan how I have right now. The problem is, whenever I would try to buy anything like that, I'm always told, oh, you have enough Legos already, you don't need more. <laughs> I'm a kid. The whole point of Lego is expanding your collection. To build bigger and better creations. Exactly. And you can't do that with the collection I have. Because my self mock, it's actually pretty legit looking, but there's one problem. His right hand is black and his left hand is white. Because those are the only actual hands I have. Hmm. And striving you know, crazy. Black market. That, that's true. That, that's Black market. <laughs> like, hey, I got the bricks. You got the money? Here. Yeah, we've been never here. <laughs> right next to the room where they're putting out news about the Matoran. Want to buy some gold masks? Hey, kid, kid, kid. I have silver blades. You want them? I don't know, man. No, come on, man. It's all right. Freeze! Cannon police, you're under arrest! I don't know. I painted a very grim scene for the BCC yes. there. Yes. Before we terrorize more children, I think we should sign off now. Yeah. How long have we been at this? Oh, for a while now. Oh, uh -huh. here. Someone's going to comment, Oh my gosh, you wasted blank, blank minutes of my life! No, we all no. Those are minutes of your life that you got back. No, you'll never find them again. Go outside, run around, bang your head okay. against a tree, enjoy the summer while it lasts. What summer? It's just it's, spring. It's summer. But I must say Florida. it's warm over here. You people in Florida. There is no spring in Florida. It goes straight from bitter cold to so the this blazing heat. Warm. You will realize the truth. There is no spring. There is no spring. There is no spring, there is no spring in Florida. There is no spring. It's not there spring that no bends itself. There oh, is well. no spring. There is only the exchange of white to green Lego bricks. Did you guys catch my reference there? What reference? No. no. There is no spring. The Matrix, man. There is no spoon. Sorry. Neither of us have seen the Matrix. Never will. Chris. Yeah. If you see the Matrix, comment. I'm just wondering if this is a thing in the Bionicle community. 
I figure we all would have watched it, all three of them, but whatever. Anyways, I think we should... This is FCP, a good idea this time. I now possess that which you most fear. Your face? You will do my bidding, or taste my wrath. The wrath of what? The wrath of Khan. Khan! Inside yellow. Do you want to hear face the wrath of the Kabushi Brotherhood? Ooh, ooh, do you want to hear a really bad Star Trek joke? One more Star Trek joke, and then we should sign off. Okay. What kind of nuts make Captain Kirk yell? What? Pecans! <laughs> Sorry, I don't get that. Uh, that's because you're an uncultured peasant. Hey, Ooh, do not cool. defy a member of the Kadishi Brotherhood. Ah, uh-huh, even worse, you're part of a cult. Instead of the Brotherhood of Makuta. Oh, it's the Brotherhood of... Instead of the Brotherhood of Makuta, it's the Brotherhood of Kadishi. The Brotherhood of Kadishi fan club! Oh. Boom! Vez, we gotta do this. We gotta make this happen. Yeah, we are so doing this. Alright. Well, I should log us off now. From all of yeah. us here at the BCP, I'm Chris Major2124. Here with uh, Vez and Leo. Like, comment, subscribe. And if we do get this Kadihi fan club up and running, yeah. You should join. You're totally in, bro. In it to win it. In it to win it. As long as you're so paying us a million good. bucks an hour. Wow. So from all of us here at the BCC, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. And viva la revolution!